myself. You know what? You know what? Don't let, don't let anybody tell you that you are too cocky or too full of yourself. Cause you know what? What ever. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a bra fat, bra bulge, back fat, whatever the hell you want to call it, workout. It's not going to be just a workout. I'm also going to go over kind of my top tips because a lot of it is nutrition and lifestyle. If a YouTuber tells you that you can spot reduce your bra bulge or your bra fat, they are lying. I'll be super honest with you guys, but it's definitely possible to get results and get rid of that little bulge. Before we get into the peanut butter and jelly of this video sandwich, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the little bell so you can get notified of my videos and you never miss another little workout with me. So even though you can... <laughs> So even though you cannot spot reduce the fat and you have to kind of focus on losing fat from all over your body, you can do a few exercises to help you tone up the area and it does help minimize the appearance of the bra fat or the bra bulge. So losing fat comes from being in a caloric deficit, which means that you burn more calories than you consume. You achieve this by making sure you focus on cardio and hit workouts and you and you try to just be mindful of your food. Don't pick super calorie dense food. For example, nuts, which a lot of people think are super good and healthy for you, but a whole bag of nuts can contain like 2000 calories. For a lot of you guys, a lot of you girls, that's how much you should be eating in a day. Even a salad, if you get a salad from a fast food restaurant, can be like 700 calories, which makes no fucking sense. It's more about focusing on making better decisions. I go about this like in super detail my nutrition guide which you can find on my website but it is a lot a lot of information way too much for me to fit into this video a product that actually helps me a lot with making better decisions is the shape body shape which is a meal replacement shape from women's best now i don't think you should rely on meal replacement shapes all the time i don't think you should be you know replacing most of your meals with a meal replacement shape because you should be focusing on getting most of your nutrients and your macros and your calories from real good foods However, I know that realistically many times you just reach for whatever is in your fridge and your pantry even though it's not healthy but it's there and it's convenient and you don't feel like grocery shopping because you're just too lazy to leave the house and you don't have pants on. So having a shape body shape there I think just gives you a better option. It is a healthier option than some things you might have in your fridge. It is a healthier option than skipping breakfast which a lot of people do. You get your protein, carb and healthy fat intake and a bunch of vitamins and minerals from the Shape Body Shake with a very, very little amount of calories, which definitely helps in aiding fat loss and it helps you feel just a little more fuller. So if you're struggling with your appetite, you feel like you're hungry all the time, the Shape Body Shake really, really could help. I personally love, love, love the chocolate coconut flavor. Link in my description. And you can use the code of Vicky10 to save yourself some money. So aside from getting your nutrition right, a big factor in a bra bulge is wearing the wrong bra size. When I wear a bra that is too small, it cuts into my skin and I just have this bulge coming out, even though I don't have a lot of fat in my upper body area, definitely look into that. Like actually go get properly measured, make sure you're wearing the right bra, make sure the bra is the right material because some materials are just really rough. They cut into your skin and your body and that just accentuates your bulge if you have one and it just doesn't help the matter. But anyway, you can still tone up and improve the area a lot by focusing on a few exercises. We're gonna be doing mostly back exercise. You can use some weight at the gym or you can grab some water bottles or wine bottles, whatever you want, whatever is convenient for you. And let's try this workout. All right, so I'm gonna show you four exercises and we're gonna do them together. Let's do about 15 to 20 reps of each. You can try along with me. And I would definitely recommend trying this like two or three more times just to really get the max out of this workout. So we're gonna start off with some supermans, which is amazing not only for your upper back, but also for your lower back. So supermans are gonna be on the floor, on your stomach, hands out in front of you, like you're a superman. And you're gonna basically lift up your upper body and your back legs at the same time. So you're gonna go up, back down. So let's do about 20 of these. So go up and down. So go nice and slow, make sure you're doing it right. Try to keep your neck straight, don't strain it back. Oh my god, I almost kicked my, my wall. Let's go. Eight more. Oh, 
Almost there. And 20. All right. So you can stretch it out if you have to. Next, we're gonna be doing swimmers. I don't know if these are actually called swimmers. That's just what I call them. So this one is amazing, amazing for your upper back. So starting with your hands. Wait, hold on, here. So starting with your hands up here, you're gonna make sure they're lifted off the floor a couple of inches, okay? Don't let them touch the floor. So we're basically gonna go from here. You can put your forehead on the floor if you'd like, or whatever's comfortable for you. You're gonna put them here and you're gonna bring them to your butt and back up, staying off the floor the whole time. So that counts as one rep, going back and out. So we're gonna do 15 of these. So really don't let it touch the floor. If you feel like you can't keep going anymore, stop, catch your breath. But try to do all 15 with me. So, ready, keeping your head here. Go back and up. Back and up. Keep your shoulders down. Try not to like shrug your shoulders. You should feel the movement in your shoulder blades and a little bit in your arms. Oh my god, I lost count. All right, this is five. <sighs> Keep going, get those arms up. Don't let them touch the floor. Oh my, I just touched the floor. <sighs> Come on, five more. <sighs> Almost there. And 15. Oh my gosh. That one is killer. Oh, I love that one. All right, next we're gonna be doing some dumbbell rows, which is amazing for your back and between your shoulder blade area. So I'm using my weights, which is two wine bottles. <laughs> so for the dumbbell rows, you're gonna be on your knees like this, bend over a little bit so you're hinged at the hips. Okay, so go like this. All right, grab both weights in your hands, or both wine bottles, and we're basically gonna bring them up, back down. So we're doing both hands at the same time. So we're gonna do 20 in total. Make sure when you bring them up, you really squeeze the part between your shoulder blades. This also helps a lot with posture and like with your back overall. So up, back down, low key. You
and back. All right. So that was my little bra, bulge, bra, fat, back, fat, whatever, little workouts. So give it a try. Do it a few times. I do really believe that toning up your upper back and kind of getting more definition helps with the appearance of the bra fat. But at the end of the day, the only thing to actually get rid of the physical fat is a caloric deficit. So being mindful about what you eat, doing enough cardio, doing HIIT. So I hope you guys just give it a try. And if you don't have bra fat or back bulge or whatever, and you still want to kind of strengthen and tone up the upper back and like a little bit of the chest and shoulder area, you of course can give this workout a try. You can try it with some weight and let me know how you like it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.